How's it going guys? So today I'm doing something kind of a little bit different. Uh, one of the hobbies that I have from time to time is uh, I like messing with electronics. I like soldering things. Well, I mean, soldering is sort of a part. I mean, soldering's fun, don't get me wrong, but I don't just solder for the fun of it. I do a lot, I mess with a lot of electronics, a lot of Raspberry Pi type stuff, and eventually maybe I'll start doing some tutorials on the channel once I get better at it. Third on there. Um, so yeah, my old soldering iron crapped out, and this is a soldering iron that was actually purchased by my girlfriend for me. And I figured I'd do an unboxing for it. So this is the FX888D from Hako. It's kind of a weird, a weird model number, but anyway, this is the blue and yellow version, which kind of looks Fisher Pricey, but um, they're actually much cheaper in blue and yellow than the, I think there's like a silver and black and maybe a white. So I don't really care about the color too much. So this was fine. So it comes in this big giant box and uh, it's sort of a soldering station. So it has an adjustable temperature range. It has, I think from 120 all the way up to 899 Fahrenheit or 50 to 480 Celsius if you're um, in the metric system. It has basically a wand, a base, and then like a sort of holder. We'll look at that in a minute. And yeah, so the, I like this because it's um, sort of just a pen design, which is actually kind of nice. I've only been using crappy, like, all just plug in the wall and heat up kind of soldering irons up until this point, so I'm kind of excited about it. But uh, let's unbox this. So we have this sort of just cardboard thing, kind of tells you how to uh, place your tips. And also there's this cool little parts diagram on the back, tells you sort of the number, the part number for different various tips and what they look like. So that's kind of nice, just kind of helpful. They tell you to cut it out, I guess you could hang it on your wall or something. So we'll chuck that aside for now. Here's the box, pretty, pretty hefty. I'm gonna open this up. They tell you that you should probably limit your uh, contact with lead. A little warning there. So, yeah, lead solder, scary stuff. So in the box, we have an owner's manual. It tells you things like uh, stuff that comes in the box in many, many different languages. It also gives you sort of a guide of like electrical specifications, what the indicator lights mean, all of that. The base has a little sponge and also a, uh, some cleaning wire so that you can clean the soldering iron. We'll uh, take a look at that in a minute. But that is the owner's manual. I'm gonna move this. Off to the side. It's gonna be noisy, sorry about that. So here is the actual tip or the wand. Ugh. Get that out of here. So the tip of the wand, this is, uh, it's got a nice little removable tip so you can, um, how do you, oh, there it goes. So you take the collar off and you can take the tip off and replace the tip. It's like a ceramic heating element inside there, so that's pretty cool. And uh, it goes on pretty easily, just this whole collar goes down, screws on real tight. Has like a little slot here for a wrench. Nice little grip. It's actually really quite tiny, and you get a lot of cord actually. I think there's probably about mm, two and a half, three feet maybe? I didn't look at the actual length of this, but it, it seems pretty long. I mean, it gets you pretty far away from, yeah, you can see, it's, it's probably, yeah, I'd say it's about three feet or so. So that's pretty cool. Let's dig in here for there's some egg crate stuff. For the actual power supply from Hako. This is where the uh, soldering tip plugs in. This is just kind of like a standard six pin, like almost looks like a microphone connector. So that plugs into the front like that. There's a um, temperature up and down and the enter button to select your temperature. Uh, power switch on the side, and a pretty decent cording on the back there to uh, plug into an electrical outlet. About maybe two and a half, three feet on that as well. And that's it for the box. We just have this guy. This is your, move that over a bit. This is your soldering iron holder device. It's actually a solid metal. Which is really cool, even this is metal, which is great because you don't really want to put your soldering iron in something that's plastic. Obviously, if it's at 700 degrees, you probably melt something. So, that's uh, reasonable. You get this uh, sweet, like, cleaning wire thing. 
These are usually made of brass or gold. Uh, usually they're like covered in flux. I'm not sure if this one is though. Uh, but uh, we'll find out. I don't think, it doesn't seem to have any flux in it, but you get this cleaning wire, open it up. You can, um, I guess you have some storage, I don't know. You can put your cleaning wire in this little holster here and then uh, snap it uh, back in place like that, very loud, yes. And uh, and then there's like sort of a cup hold, I guess this really is just the uh, holder for when you have your pen in there if it drips solder or whatever. But yeah, then you have this uh, cleaning wire so that you, you know, when you have your soldering iron, it's a little dirty, you can um, do that and it should like get all the solder off. The uh, tip looks like it actually comes pre-tinned a bit, which is kind of nice. Usually you have to tin those, which is basically you get it hot and you get some solder on it and then, you know. It also comes with a little cleaning sponge and that goes sort of just in here. Like that, I believe. Yeah, just like that. So, whoops. <laughs> and of course the sponge is falling apart. That's okay. But you could probably also, you know, in the future, you could probably just go to a store and just cut this. You could also go and get the part number. Um, they have a part number on there for a cleaning sponge. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the uh, FX888D from Hako. It just sits like that. So thanks for watching. Uh, this is sort of a short unboxing video. If you uh, want to see a review of this, let me know. I know this is kind of an oddball thing for some people. Uh, you know, not a lot, a lot of people like go for a sort of expensive soldering station, but uh, I figured it was worth uh, worth unboxing just to see if anyone had any interest. Uh, I can do like a little review where I can do some live action soldering and maybe even a how-to on how to solder if that's uh, anything that appeals to anyone out there. So, if you like this video, let me know. Comment section below. If you have any questions about this or you know, anything else really, comment section below. Uh, you know how YouTube works, I don't know that I need to really explain that every time, but thanks for watching, and um, washing? Thanks for washing, yes. Thanks for watching.